but I, um, I think it's a combination of, the, of of everything. But it also it just perhaps being more open about things. So like let's say like the, the lectures are recorded, yeah, or yeah, like yeah. Canvas, for instance. One of the worst things ever to happen in the history of the world, <laughs> having like the knowledge restricted. Mm -hmm. I mean, the CS professors are, are usually good because they have their own websites and everything is public, mm -hmm. which is it's a, it's a nice you know. Yeah, yeah, in yeah. In the computer world, it's like normal to have that, but and in the past, you could look up okay, math class. Okay, here you have all the practice tests, and it actually helped me because I'm, I like to teach myself things. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. Always things, but now I cannot find anything. It's really restricted. <laughs> Oh, that's interesting. So maybe that's it's not even about the man or anything, just about having everything open. Um, yeah, I wonder how much of that is Coursera. And um, like because of the existence of Coursera, we need to. Or like intellectual property, like right. people viewing that material as intellectual property. Uh, Coursera is okay. free. Uh, ish. 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 Well, you could still take the thing and learn the stuff. Yeah, yeah. But the material that you put on it, um, you know, you have to make sure that. It's it's your own intellectual property. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why that is. I'm wondering if it if it's just also the same in all disciplines. Um, that would be an interesting thing to check. Like I was talking to a colleague recently, and you know they're doing a lot of analyses, looking at um, course descriptions um, and what like how many classes address ethics, how many don't. <laughs> you know, not many do. Um, I wish we had a little bit more on that. Um, but yeah, the, the access, I think, is interesting. Um, you know, when I first started, like I said, we, the, the web didn't exist. and It existed later. Um, and then there was this trend to have everything be very, very open. And then um, later, I started seeing things be a little bit more restrictive. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I don't know now. I don't know. And when you say Canvas being a terrible thing, do you mean um, Canvas the system for like submitting grades and for getting assignments? So I don't know if you know what Canvas actually is, but uh, Canvas is this platform where people are able to do kind of everything. So they're able to like uh, put the lecture slides, create the homework. Yeah, so we're talking about the same thing. Right. Yeah. And the, the reason yeah. why it, it's it's and bad. prior to that we had Blackboard. Which right, was, uh, to, yeah. still yeah. the same, Moodle. same thing. Instead yeah. of like, but like the some of the professors, like for example, Professor Gupta, mm -hmm. everything is there, tests and peace. Mm -hmm. And a lot of these professors actually they have their own websites and they, everything is really nice and they have their slides. So if I want to teach myself something, I can just go. I don't need yeah, to. Yeah, 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 yeah. So and also, I mean, it's nice because you know there's a lot of people around the world that could just learn and. But yeah. That's not people think. Yeah, I don't know why people yeah. do. That. I know it's very common in CS to have things very public. Right. Yeah. At least, maybe I'm behind the curve. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, maybe it's just a culture thing that some yeah. fields have, but who knows? I do know that for some, like, there's certain writings that um, are copyrighted that should not be publicly available. Right. Like that can be given in different ways. And I know that for student work, I mean, just to show you how norms changed. Um, you know, when I was younger, they would put all of our schoolwork online. And now when I first got here, I started doing that too, because it was a norm. But then students were really upset. They're like, no, please don't do that. Um, they're like, you know, I'm getting my first job and I don't want to be embarrassed by this assignment I did, you know, like X really? years ago. And so we stopped doing that. Um, and then FERPA became a thing too. And it was, you know, kind of, it was very connected to that. Right. Um, but norms come and go, norms change for various reasons. Um, but it would be interesting to like interview faculty and ask them why things are there versus elsewhere. I would be really curious to see <laughs> uh, what like that type of interview would would result in. Yeah, I mean, mostly it's because that's that's what I mean. People don't know how to create a website, so they're not going to create a website. Go through it. Oh, Google Sites is like well, there are like with WordPress and you know you can create a website now with Word even. Um, Google Sites makes it pretty easy, but I mean. What you might also be getting at is that people are so busy yeah. that any extra thing they have to do right. means that maybe they're not going to spend time with their family. Like mm -hmm. it's hard to calibrate what what trade-offs people are balancing. Yeah, it's either yeah, perhaps you could just create a canvas-like thing, but it's just free; anyone can open and yeah. can see. Yeah, it wouldn't be that hard, but hopefully mm -hmm. someone creates it. <laughs>
So it, it, it always, it's a matter of like, you know, friction and, you know, what is the thing people are using? Okay, the college, the college says this or have your own website. What's the easiest one? Yeah, one. I think one of the functions of Canvas is um, it allows for secure grading mm -hmm. or the, the transfer of secure grades. And I think it fits the, um, the FERPA compliance um, requirement. Um, and so, yeah, I would, I would have to, you know, talk to the people that made the decision to use that versus something else. And like, I know we're not allowed to discuss grades with people via email because it's not FERPA compliant. Interesting. Um, and and, and the, the thing with, okay, you have FERPA now, but it's there and it's never going away, which is the problem with like regulations and law is that once it's there to get rid of it, it just, or to change it, it's even. it's there. Like you're not gonna be able to get rid of it. Uh, if no, I'm saying you we should, but it's more like yeah. Loss I don't of like, know. It, it didn't exist at some point, so yeah. something changed. So who knows if things, you know, what will cause something to change or not? Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. 